Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? Um, today we're going to do a real quick tutorial on how to check our players grounded with uh, using a raycast. And uh, this works pretty well um, and it's fairly simple so uh, hopefully it'll help you out in your uh, game or your project. So the first thing we need to do Oh, if you got a second, can you smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and ring the ding. I appreciate it. Thanks, guys. You rock. Uh, create a cube. Call it cube player. And um, add a rigid body to them. And then com uh, command and control D to duplicate them and call them cube ground. And remove the rigid body from the ground because otherwise it'll drop. So right click, remove component. And let's make the ground 100, 100, and move the player up a little bit just to kind of give an idea what's going on here. I'll move up a little bit higher so we can see when we run the run the game. So you get your player and your ground. Let's see, just do a quick test run. It should drop. Yep, cool. All good. Move the camera up a little bit. There you go. All right, so now we got that sorted out. Head over to your scripts folder, create a new C sharp script, call it um, check ground or whatever you like. If you can type today, that would be good. Open it up and get to scripting. Write some code. And we're going to be using the fixed update because we're using a rigid body. Rigid body requires you to use a fixed update. We're going to need two variables. We need a public float. When a float is just a number with a decimal, so like 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 etc. Distance to ground, let's call it. And then we're going to need a public bool, which probably better practice to make it private. Um, but for learning purposes, keep it public so you can see in, in the inspector when it's uh, true and when it's false. Public bool is grounded. And uh, we'll call it equal to false. So now we need to go to our start function and we need to say distance to ground is equal to get component and it's going to be the collider component and in this case the collider the uh, the box the cube and it's going to be dot bounds the world space bounding volume of the collider dot extents the extents of the box is always half of the size and it's going to be the y and the up and down uh, at least in Unity. Open that up a little bit. And then we're going to go into our fix update. And we're going to make an if statement. And all we're going to say is we'll cast our, um, we'll create a raycast right here. Uh, physics dot raycast. And it's going to be from the transform position. And it's going to be down. So use minus vector three up. So we're casting it down. And then we'll use the distance to ground variable, which is the extent of the collider. And for the for a little bit of insurance, we're gonna go plus 0.1 f. And um, we do that because if your game has some curves or or up and down variation in the train or whatnot, um, the plus 01 f will give you a little bit of lead way. Um, on whether it's ground or not. If you don't have that, if you have a perfectly flat ground, it most likely will be fine. But if you got some curves or whatnot, it'd probably get a little bit wonky and go from is grounded, true to false, uh, flip back and forth, kind of uh, wonky, it'd be a little bit wonky. So we're from the air. We're gonna say grounded is grounded to false. And then, pretty easy, else, if we're not there, is ground is true. That's it. And then, just to check it out on the console, use print or debug, whatever you like. I like print, it's easier and faster to type. Um, print, we're in the air. And then, save three seconds. And say something like ground is true. So, you got that there, and we should be good to go. Where's our cube? Make sure you uh, add the script to the player. But yeah, it looks good. And I hit the play. 
So we get ground is true. You go up, we're in the air, we're in the air, we're in the air, ground is true. Try it again. Let's clear that. So we're ground is true in the air. Ground is true in the air. Anyways, you get the picture. So that's it. It's pretty quick. It's pretty simple. This works very well. Um, it's short, it's lightweight, and uh, it should get the job done. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you uh, watching and taking the time to hang out. I hope you learned something. I hope this works out for you in your game, your project. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, any questions on tutorials, suggestions, comments, etc., etc., etc. Leave them, and I'll try to get back to you within a day or two. So thanks for watching, guys. Catch you next time. Happy coding.